was foul. And foul was fair. So foul and fair a day I have not seen. These three weird sisters saluted me and referred me to the coming, coming on, on of time. time with Hail, King that shalt be. Macbeth, I fear thy nature. It is too full of the milk of human kindness to catch the nearest way. Thou wouldst be great, art not without ambition, but without the illness should attend it. Macbeth, thou shalt be what thou art promised. We'll proceed no further in this business. Art thou feared to be the same in thine act and valor as thou art in desire? He hath honored me of late. Wouldst thou live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would? I dare do all that may become a man, who dares do more as none. When you durst do it, then you are a man, and to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. When Duncan is asleep, soundly slip past his two chamberlains, who will lie with wine and with sail so convinced that memory shall be a fume. If we should fail. When in swinish sleep he lies, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? I am settled and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away, and mock the time with fairest show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Art thou but a dagger of the mind? I see thee yet. In form as palpable as this which I now draw. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. <laughs>